Welcome to my channel. My name is Pamela Stewart and I'm an author of Young Adult Science Fiction and Fantasy. And today I will be talking to you about finding your writer's voice. When I first started writing, like eons ago, people would say you have to find your voice before you can be published. And I would look at them and crick my head to the side and wonder what they mean because writing to me was just telling the story in any way possible um, using declarative sentences and internalizations like I had read in books but and that's part of it but actually understanding what voices can actually be the difference between people loving your stuff and people thinking it's derivative or not reading it at all. So this is how some of the techniques I use to find my writer's voice. First I read On Writing by Stephen King and in there he talks about how he had a pen name for a few years in the 80s which I recall was Richard Bachman and he said that it was discovered you know pretty quickly after he started using this pen name and he just wanted to see if he could hit the bestseller list again after hitting with Carrie and with all of his other hits to see if he still had it but people knew his writing style so well that they immediately drew the lines between the two names and figured out it was Stephen King. So what is it? How do they figure that out? It's more than just word choice, but that is part of it. It's how a writer structures, structures their sentences. It's nouns they use. It's the length of the sentences. It's how they decide to put space between paragraphs or do a single word paragraph to give an emotion. It's the amount of description you use. It's the amount of internalizations of your characters. It's like when you're baking. Um, you're just throwing things into a cake and you're not sure what's going to come out. Like it might be just the recipe that you learned from another writer and it's going to turn out like similar to theirs. But to have your own cake is what brings people back to your bakery. <laughs> So some of the techniques I used to actually figure out my voice was I did at first catch copy other people. I would just take a page, let's say from Anne Rice's interview with a vampire and I'd copy it verbatim by hand, which it makes a difference if you use hand or not because it affects your brain differently if you write something. So you start learning how Anne Rice paces things or how Anne Rice, how many words does Anne Rice use to describe a room or a time period? How does she evoke Louisiana in the 1800s? How does she keep the plot moving by using short sentences or long sentences? How does she get you to feel sensual with the words that she's choosing? And then also I would do like other writers that I enjoyed like George R. R. Martin or Stephen King or any of the other, you know, big writers out there, people that I wanted to gather some of their talents. And you start seeing the more you actually copy them with your hand and you you feel how they space the words and what the words they choose, you start getting a feel for their voice. And at that point you start thinking with your own writer's voice. And a way to kind of release that is doing morning pages. There's a book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. I'm going to try to link the actual book below as well as On Writing by Stephen King, which is a great book on writing. But The Writer's Way suggests morning pages. And I got to say they're pretty freeing, especially, you know, when somebody is having trouble finding their voice, it usually is because they are locked up in worried about the opinion of other people or they are concerned about getting the grammar right. But what the morning pages do is they free you to write whatever and to find your own way of describing things. So what they basically is, and I'm going to put it in a synopsis, but I do suggest you read the book. The first thing when you get up in the morning, the very first thing, like, before, you know, you go to the bathroom or whatever, but have your computer ready to go or your notepad. Notepad's almost better. Get the pad of paper or, the note, or your computer ready and just for 10 minutes or longer, and the book suggests three pages worth, just write whatever comes to mind. If you want to write the same word over and over again for three pages, if you want to write your grocery list, if you want to write a description of the sky, if you want to work out a plot problem, if you want to figure out what happens in chapter two or what your character is thinking when they were five years old, doesn't matter. Whatever comes to mind. If you want to work out your own childhood or something your kid has done to you or what your pet is doing right now, 
get words down on paper or computer and do it for at least three months on a daily basis. And by the end, you'll feel it's like running a marathon. You have to start out small, but you'll start feeling that your writer's voice has just stretched out and you're starting to hear the way that you tell a story and the way you describe things and the way your unique perspective comes out on paper. And then you can start using that when you actually write your fiction, which is a beautiful experience. And another little thing that I use to actually help free myself because I was very, it was very hard for me to learn to let go of my internal editor and not worry about every page, every word. And I was so hyper um, focused on that that I couldn't even get to complete anything. I joined NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writers Month, and it happens in November, and it's basically just an online community of people, and it's it's a very large community, and what it does is encourages you to write every day, 1,667 words, and you get those words down, and you don't worry if they're edited. In fact, you're discouraged from going back and editing at all. You just get your story down, and some people use a great outline, some people don't. Even if it's just a story you'll never use, which my first story in 2008 when I first did NaNoWriMo was not a story that I ended up ever using, but it freed me. I mean, it freed my writer's voice. It freed my muse. It made me excited to sit down and write every night. Right now, there's one coming up in, no in July, actually. There's a Camp Nano, which is a little more flexible than the November Nano. So I encourage you to look into it. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Join up and see if you like it or not. It's a great way of, of opening yourself up. Also, check out those books, one by Stephen King, one by Julia Cameron. I hope this has been helpful to help you find your writer's voice. If you have any questions or thoughts about how you found your writer's voice or the issues you're having, please comment below. I'd love to hear them. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing more writer's technique videos and expressing more about like how-to books soon. So please subscribe. I'd love to hear from you.